Hi, my shirt matches your painting, which is a funny it. coincidence. I know. Well, I knew you were coming, so I had to, I had to, no, I'm just kidding. That's amazing. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's great to meet you. Before we get started, I just want to um, make sure that everybody who's watching this interview knows that the reason you can do it is because the DGA is not on strike. Correct. The Director's There's Guild. Both the, the Directors Guild is not on strike, and SAG uh, explicitly has not called for a general strike. Um, and so it is politically expedient for me to speak on behalf of the movie because the cast can't, the writers can't, and people going and seeing the movie and understanding what we put into it is really helpful to all of the causes right now. That's that's why I'm here. Because they were integral to the to making this movie along with you. They are the movie. Um, I mean, even our costume designer, who is SAG, <laughs> uh, and couldn't attend the premiere because of that. Um, so many people, um, I, I, I just feel like what they put into the movie and their intentions would be silenced if I wasn't speaking for them. So, so that's, people should keep that in mind when they see the film, that that's the, the contributions that are on the line. Yeah, this is not this is not a movie that Disney normally makes. Um, it is a primarily black, um, inclusive led cast. Uh, we made this with practical effects and on a real set. And we did so with an original story written by a woman. I'm a black gay man. This is not the sort of thing that is normal coming out of a summer and being called the temple. So it actually helps all of us continue to work and do what we love so much in this industry to see it supported because, you know, we have to fight this idea that when you let a black gay man direct and you you let a woman write the script and you you cast a black lead and then those movies don't work we have to fight that belief uh at the corporate level kind of every day of our lives and i think um what we were able to accomplish with the movie uh people supporting that really helps us continue that work well it's interesting that you say that because the the movie is very commercial mm -hmm. i think it's very mainstream but it has other unique elements to it that I think are coming from the places that you're speaking to. Yeah, for sure. You know, so which is great. So, for instance, one of the things that surprised me about the movie is how scary it is for a <laughs> Disney family movie. I was like, wow, this movie means business. So how did you figure out where the line was in terms of? I mean, for me, it was clear. It was I leaned into Disney itself. If you really lean into that ride there, it's so subversive. And the way that they are playing with something as intense as death for children, um, it's not like I'm adding something that's not there. Uh, and then if you think about the classic Disney movies and moments, we are talking about Snow White being hunted down to be murdered. We're talking about Bambi losing their mother we're talking about you know uh mufasa die like the ones that it's a, it's we a, love it's, it's a big go, thing for disney they go there they go yeah. to dark scary places because i think it helps children realize they can really survive the world um and also i don't know to me it was already there in the dna and uh and i shot to that and the other thing is as a kid i was exposed to specifically horror and fantasy that, you know, technically I was probably too young to see, but it it helped me find my place and my voice in the world. So uh, I just kept pushing it. And, um, you know, especially when they started to test the movie, you could feel it. Like the kids were ready. They wanted more. They, they oh, were- Oh, that's great. Yeah, nobody, you know, it wasn't, the kids were not scarred for life. <laughs> At least not in a bad way. And, and nobody checked way. that box. <laughs> yeah. um, and I don't that's know, it's just, and the other thing is like, I wanted, People, I wanted, I would want to walk into this movie not being a kid, not having any reason to see it, and and enjoy myself. Um, I needed to make the movie for me and for our audience, and um, and so yeah, it was important for me to kind of push it a little bit there and not be just adorable, which Disney is and which this movie is, but to also kind of pack a punch. Oh, yeah, it's a legit Halloween scary haunted mansion movie. Yeah, yeah. And you have a lot of great Easter eggs in the film that I thought were wonderful. Uh, I don't want to give any of them any of them away, but what's great about the Haunted Mansion is that there every every Haunted Mansion in every Disney park is very different. Yes, and everyone has a favorite Haunted Mansion. Mine is Disneyland Paris. I've been on three of them. Oh I've wow! Been in California, Los Angeles, and Paris. And I'm curious, what's your favorite Haunted Mansion and why? I think um, I think I, I the Disneyland one because it's the first. Um, it's the last one that Walt had his hand in. And it's also just frankly the one that this movie is based on. So I've spent the <laughs> most time intimately studying it. And I'm just so in love with, 
I'm just in love with it. I, I, it really is a weird, kooky, subversive thing that they made <laughs> with this ride. And so many of the influence that they're pulling from are, it's just, it's just, it speaks to my queer, shady black heart. And I, 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 I love it. I love it for that reason. I think, you know, I've seen interviews with the Imagineer who created the Haunted Mansion or led the charge on that. And I think he would love the movie that you made. Thank you very much. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a fan, you know, and I've been in fandoms before where the movie comes out and you always know that there's a, there, I expect there to be changes and adaptations and stuff. But I hate it when you can tell the people who made the thing really didn't care or lean all that much into the details, the nitty gritty, ridiculous details that the fans think about. Um that was like kind of paramount for me because I, 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 I'm I so disappointed when that does not happen for something I'm a big fan of. Uh, so yeah, we really did that and we we poured over every detail um, and figured out, you know, for the ones that we could, how do we adapt this into a big movie and how do we sort of adapt this I idea or this detail into a way that serves the story down to like the Pepper's Ghost effect. Um, you know, there's a, there's a whole thing with mirrors in the movie that came out of that. There's a whole thing with uh, all of the faces that are in the wallpapers and the, you know, uh, the archways and, and hidden all over the house, you know, the paintings, the ghosts, like all that stuff is just, it's inspirational as a storyteller. So we leaned into it as much as we could. My last question for you is that Jared Leto is a great guest <laughs> in this movie and he yeah. helps really raise the level of craziness in the third act yeah he does <laughs> I mean so how much like I don't want to give anything away but you can see Jared Leto occasionally but mm -hmm. you know the hat box ghost how much is that Jared Leto a, a lot of it is I mean the the character the voice um his sort of reason for being and his his modus operandi that a lot of that comes from Jared and you know Jared is like very much a detail guy and so he he was very um you know, passionate about the specifics. Where did this guy come from? How did he get his money? What are his motivations? These kinds of things. How how would he talk if if he had this issue, you know, with his teeth? And and, and why does he walk like that? And it, it is a co-creation because there's also incredible stunt workers and, um, you know, effects artists. And a lot of folks went into the making of the Hatbox Ghost. Um, and, but everybody went into it with that kind of level of passion and intensity of like, why, why this, why that, why that? Uh, and, and I think it really pays off. Uh, in, yeah, in I have to say that his backstory was one of the things that surprised me the most about the film and was one of yeah. my favorite things. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That was, that was something that was debated and, you know, went through the ringer for a long time. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it works really well. Well, congratulations. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it.